especially here and here. It is about what is happening in Kashmir. Before this, before I go on this, I want to make one thing clear. That when we came to power, my first priority was that Pakistan would be a country which will, which will try its best to bring peace. Mr. Modi used words like, this is just a trailer, the movie is about to start. We will, I went into Pakistan and taught them a lesson. This was the election campaign. Okay, so we thought, you know, us politicians oh, make all these statements to win elections. So, okay, after elections, we'll back to our normal relationship. Well, the moment the elections ended, we approached India. No response, but then we discovered they were trying to push us in the fat of blacklist to bankrupt us. That's when we realized there was an agenda. And that agenda became obvious on the 5th August when India, India went against 11 United Nations Security Council resolutions which say that the people Kashmir is a disputed territory and the people of Kashmir have the right of self-determination. They went against that. The material prevails over the human. But this has serious consequences. Again, I repeat, that's why I'm here. Look, what is going to happen when the curfew is lifted will be a bloodbath. The people will come out. There are 900,000 troops there. They haven't come to as Narendra Modi says, he's done this to, for prosperity of Kashmir. This is supposed to be for the development. These 900,000 troops, what are they going to do when, the, when they come out? There'll be a bloodbath. Has he thought it through what happens then? Mr. President, has anyone thought that what happens when there is a bloodbath? What do you think the impact will have on people of Kashmir? Then we'll give the Indian government an excuse that look, Pakistan is a terrorist state and this mantra that has gone on Islamic terrorism. The moment you use this, this catchword, Islamic terrorism, the whole world turns away. No one talks about human rights. You can do whatever you want, which is what has happened in Kashmir, because they keep using this word, Islamic terrorism. And this is what they're doing right now. What do we benefit from? From uh, uh, further increasing the cruelty on the people of Kashmir. And before we head in that direction, the United Nations has a responsibility. This is why... This is why the United Nations came into being in 1945. You were supposed to stop this happening. They are suffering because of that. And this is the time. This is the time not to appease like in 1939 an appeasement took place. This is the community must give the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. Thank you. Yeah.